Arcane Enforcer Slayer starting build. Slayers are able to study their enemies in order to deal more damage to them. They will receive special talents as they level up. They love sneak attacks, but they're not effective as rogues. They are proficient with light and medium weapons and armor. Arcane Enforcer Slayer is basically a mini Arcanist Slayer. He is using Arcane Pool to cast spells, or better to say, Arcane Exploits. Choosing Race. I only see Human, Half-Elf and Half-Orc as valid options here for Arcane Enforcer. Since I really don't like wasting points into Charisma for Arcane Exploits, that's why I'm picking those three classes. Races, excuse me. So, if you decide to play with half work, for example, or half fell, we just stick with our base versions and then we apply the entire human build. Now, we start off with human. Background selection. This is one of the very few subclasses in the game that comes without persuasion. I hate playing without persuasion and it's extremely important to have one. So, in order to have persuasion, the only valid choice here is a regional Enduran Diplomat. Allocating ability points 18, 15, 16, 12, 8 and 8. Allocating skill points, we're gonna take Athletics, Mobility, Stealth, Knowledge Arcana and Persuasion. Feats, it all depends how you want to play the Slayer. It's extremely versatile class. You can go with ranged, then it's a point blank shot. You can go with two weapon fighting, then it's dodge and two weapon fighting. Alright, dual wielding. You can go with huge two handers, then it's endurance and toughness, or precise strikes for team feet. Grave feats on a slayer are weapon focus into weapon you want to use. You're gonna save this one for later on in the game once you level up a bit. Blind fight. Combat reflexes, coordinated defense, coordinated maneuvers, die hard, dodge, endurance, fortitude, reflex, will, improved initiative, intimidating prowess is absolutely great, mounted combat, persuasive, precise strike, toughness, two weapon fighting, all of those feats are valid for the slayer. It just depends what type of slayer you want to play with. Now, all of this depends whether you want to play with light or with medium armor. If it's light armor, then it's dodge and reflex. If it's medium armor, then it's fortitude, endurance and toughness. Crazy amount of combinations. We're gonna open this build with toughness for the first feat and precise strikes for the second feat so we can prepare for two-handed huge weapons later on with weapon focus on great swords or great axes. Make sure your other team members also have precise strike when you go with a build like this. Deity, this is your choice, I will go with Gorum, pick what you like the most. Here we are now, Arcane Exploits, specific to the Arcane Enforcer Slayer, as I said this is a mini Arcanist. Most of these exploits are scaling with Charisma, and we are not taking Charisma at all, which means we take exploits that do not scale with Charisma. It's simple as that. Great Arcane Exploits to acquire are Arcane Barrier, Armored Mask, Dimensional Slide, Spell Resistance and Wooden Flesh. Why? Because they're buff spells, not damage spells. We want buff spells. We're gonna go with Armored Mask here for the first arcane exploit. Alignment is your choice, pick what you like most out of this. 